I'm Brenda Langton and this is my restaurant Spoon River and we're at the Mill City Farmers Market. Um, we started this market two years ago and I want to give you a quick little tour of it, so come on in. Hi guys, how are you? And are the pears all gone? Oh, they do have pears. Oh my goodness. have everything from many vegetable growers, we have dairy farms, chicken, the eggs, we have beef, lamb, bison is coming, we have different jams and jellies. So here we are at Ames Honey Farm, they also have pears and dried apples coming great for, you know, camping and whatnot and they're amazing honeys. What one are you tasting? Which one is this? August melon. Uh, oh, this is the August melon one. It's really, really delicate and beautiful. Mm. Do you want to hold one? Here. This is Della. Can pet him? One of the things that's so wonderful about the farmers markets is that you can actually come and meet the farmers. We have wonderful apples, and when is cider coming? Cider's coming later. We'll do that probably in October. It's a really nice way to sort of learn about what they're doing, what they're growing, what their lives are like. Is that a sweet apple? Yeah, this is so good. Isn't that good? Delicious. Yeah. It's a way to keep the middleman out and that the farmers are actually benefiting and making a, a, a better living doing this. And there's more and more small farmers now in the Midwest and across the country. I mean, it is a growing movement. Tell us about the Big Blue. This is our Big Woods Blue. It's a very smooth sheet milk blue. If you do have to pay maybe a dollar more for your um, fresh vegetables, you know, it's something that we can feel good about and know that that person that's growing that beautiful squash or broccoli or cauliflower or green beans, they really need it and they appreciate it and you're going to get better, you know, vitamins, minerals and um, nutrition from it. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Yeah.